Hey everybody, it's Miss Chrissy from the Dallas Branch Library, and today I'm going to share a story with you called Extra Yarn, written by Mac Barnett and illustrated by John Clausen. And thank you to Bolter and Bray, which is an imprint of HarperCollins, for letting us use this story today. Hi guys, and I'm Alex Brooks, and I'm going to draw all Miss Chrissy reads. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either the white of snow or the black of soot from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater and when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too, but there was still extra yarn. And when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. But it turned out he was. And even after she'd made a sweater for Nate and his dog and for herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could, and she did even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knit sweaters for her mom and dad, and for Mr. Pendleton, and Mrs. Pendleton, and for Dr. Palmer, and for little Louie, She made sweaters for all the dogs, all the cats, and other animals too. Soon, people thought Annabelle will run out of yarn. But it turned out she didn't. So Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even need sweaters. Things began to change in that little town. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn, and people came to visit from around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke who was very fond of clothes sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. Little girl, said the archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. No thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No thanks. Ten million, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break into Annabelle's house, and they stole the box and took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. The 
Archduke put on his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and he lifted its lid and he looked inside. His mustache quivered, it shivered, it trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. She was. The end. Thanks for joining us, guys. And don't forget, if you'd like to do your own art or activities to go along with the story today, you can go to our website at gastoncountymuseum.org, have an adult help you download them, and you can also share them with us at We Draw Storytime. And if you'd like to learn the millennia-old art of knitting, there's some great videos on YouTube to help you get started. See you next time, guys. <laughs>